Book Notes, September 2013 The Importance of Place in Fiction As a writer, I tend to disguise my themes and characters in the shadows of a tiny harbor town on the shores of the Chesapeake Bay. I wondered about my approach and thought I'd investigate the use of place in fiction. Part of my research was an essay on the subject by none other than Eudora Welty. Her comments on the subject were certainly helpful as a guide to the use of place in carrying out a story. The main question, I think, revolved around why we write in the first place. Are we creating travel logs, or are we telling the stories of people? If the latter, a case could be made, and is by many writers, that the story is not dependent on place and could be housed anywhere. If Welty made a case that place may not always be not the most important part of a story, and she should know, then are we correct in spending many words of our story in describing it? I'd suggest two thoughts here. First of all, the reader wants to know where all this is happening. It is natural that he or she wishes this. So, if we want to make place believable, then the more astute the reader, the more work the writer has to do. Try making a reader feel at home in the Arctic cold. It is not an easy task, especially if the reader is sitting on the beach in Florida sun. Try describing a swamp that a character is visiting without getting into a description of the smell and the flowers. Some words have to be spent, and thoughtfully. Second, the reader needs to sense a welcome to place. If the writer does not know of what he or she writes, the location of the story is going to be hard for the reader to believe and feel comfortable in. This will affect the whole telling of the story. Place has another role, though. It can be used to excite us. A graveyard or a foreign planet challenge the reader. Thus, place may, might become a fright-filled pillar of the story, not just a bubblegum hotel on the hill to house a Nora Roberts romance. Who can forget the interior of that doomed passenger line in which Nelson DeMille places us as we tangle with his walking dead far above the ocean? You got that right.